understand and appreciate the beauty that encompasses us and how the access that we have to it is virtually unlimited. Some of us can open our back doors and walk outside to see some of the most beautiful scenery ever created. And for others, it may just be a 10 minute drive. We live in a place filled with rolling green hills and countrysides and beaches with gorgeous views that seem to stretch on infinitely. We are extremely lucky that we can call this wonderland our home and very lucky to have complete access to it on a daily basis. And across the world, the sights that we see are almost indescribable, from the undiscovered oceans to the vast Saharas, to the dense jungles and expanse of the desert, to the green valleys and the icy tundras. All of these environments thrive together in a way we as humans can't even begin to imagine. Sure, we can study the biological aspect of it all, things like the food chain and the basic process of photosynthesis, but the raw concept of nature and all the components that create the serene balance is so complex that it's nearly incomprehensible. The fact that all of these things have been able to thrive off one another and to reproduce and recreate and grow and drive and regrow again and give and take and live, I think that this is utterly amazing and should be impossible. It's biology mixed with a little something extra. It's an ever-changing, coexisting bio-universe in motion that we don't fully understand. And without this understanding, we won't be able to move past our greedy human needs because nature, nature, nature isn't money and nature isn't power. Nature is a balance and equilibrium. We as humans are making this balance harder and harder to maintain with each ounce of waste, oil and waste dumped into our water, each greenhouse gas and fossil fuel in our atmosphere, and the ongoing destruction of jungles and forests. We are traveling on the path to devastation, not only to our race, but also to our, not only to our earth, but also to our race. However, Earth is so large that even if humans destroy ourselves and most of the other organisms around us, there will still be nature. The ground, water, and air will still find a way to interact with each other and allow for life to begin again. We sure can reduce our ecosystems into a barren wasteland if we put our minds to it, but I think we will never be able to completely destroy our Earth. The world is so much bigger than we are, and we somehow have deemed it our responsibility to take full advantage of it, which we should, but only to an extent. It wasn't until high school that my love for nature truly started. When I was younger, all I knew was that trees were trees, grass was grass, water was water, and the sky was the sky. This all changed when our science classes started delving into the real science behind the world so different from our own. I was actively learning about all the tiny subparticles that make up the atoms, that make up the molecules, that make up life. The biochemistry and quantum physics of it all made it by far one of the most confusing and interesting things I've ever learned till to this day. But of course, there's only, only so much they can teach in school. 365 days is not that, that, not that much time if you really think about it. In fact, 16 years isn't even that much time. Our time on this earth is incredibly short compared to how long the world has been around. Around 4.5 billion years ago, a bunch of rocks floating around in space started gravitating towards each other, consequently creating one of the most complex things in our universe. And the earliest life forms started developing. And fast forward 4 billion years later, and here we are. The ways that the early caveman-like humans that once lived harmoniously with nature have long been forgotten, and a world that was once rich and teeming with life has now dwindled down to the lowest percent of the percentage of species populations ever. The rainforests are being cut away every day, and for what? More land for our genetically modified crops? The search for oil? Did you know there's only 34 years left of oil on this earth? What happens when we run out of the one thing that has supplied human life with our necessities? These natural areas around the world have been turned into money makers. Whether it's, whether it's to exploit natural resources for profit or to build roads and developments to support the constant growth of the human population. We are reshaping this world to fit our needs and unfortunately for both sides, it just doesn't work like that. Earth can't be altered like we are trying so hard to do. Like I said, nature is a balance and needs not to be messed with, but oh, how we love.